The college football season can't seem to get here quickly enough, but it does give us a little more time to talk about it heading into the preseason in 2021. And we're talking Division II football today on Midwest Sportsnet. Let's take a look at the top 25 teams in the country, our ranking presented by Emerald Quest. At number 25, it's Miles. The Golden Bears are picked at the top of the SIAC West, and they have the preseason defensive player of the year and linebacker Mitchell Smiley coming back. At 24, Carson Newman has Troy Dindy. He was the SAC Freshman of the Year in 2019, rushed for 700 yards in his debut campaign. 23 sees Angelo State as the Rams were picked second in the Lone Star Conference preseason poll. Fort Hayes State also second in the MIAA preseason poll. Well, second in one poll, third in another poll. They're led by Chance Fuller this season, the quarterback coming back for another campaign for the Tigers. And at 21, it's Indiana and the Hawks are coming off another playoff appearance. At number 20, Kutztown. The Golden Bears had a playoff win in 2019, and they're looking to build off an 11-2 campaign. At number 19, it's the Central Missouri Mules. The Mules had the top offense in the country, tops in total offense in 2019, more than 547 yards per game. And from that offense, Devontae Turner coming back to the backfield, the running back strong for another season coming back for UCM. The Bulldogs in at number 18, Wingate, riding a streak of three consecutive playoff appearances and earned the program's first 10-win program in 2019, first 10-win season. It's 17, it's Tiffin, and there were a couple of teams that got to play in the spring this past spring. One of those was Tiffin. The Dragons went 6-0 and in the spring and had a playoff appearance in 2019. And then Notre Dame also went 4-0 and in 2020. They're picked at the top of the Mountain East this year. At number 15, Bowie State as the preseason favorites in the Northern Division in the CIAA. At number 14, it's Harding. The Bisons always have a strong rushing offense. Well, they did in 2019, better than 373 yards per game on the ground. But the Bisons also had a strong defense, too, giving up less than 13 points per game in 2019. Now, when you lead the country in offense in a category, lead the country in defense as well, you're going to win a few games, and Harding did just that. They're at number 14 in our ranking heading into 2021. At number 13, it's Shepard. The Rams led the country in passing yards, where Harding led the way in rushing. The Rams led the way in passing. Tyson Bagent threw for 367 yards per game, and he's back for another year for the Rams, and he's continuing to rewrite that Rams record book. At number 12, Indianapolis. Greyhounds, second in the country in 2020. Uh, 3-0 in those three games in the 2020-2021 season, posting 518 yards of total offense per game. By the way, the Greyhounds have won 14 consecutive games at home. They haven't lost in Indianapolis since 2017. And in at number 11, the Thunderwolves from CSU Pueblo. The best turnover margin in the country in 2019. They're picked second in the RMAC preseason poll. Now to the top 10. At number 10, it's Washita. The Tigers, three-time defending GAC champions. They are picked to win a fourth title in the GAC. Now they're going to try to do it without some leaders from the 2019, without the 2019 team, without the leading passer, without the leading rusher, and without the leading receiver from 2019. Well, just ahead of them in the poll, Colorado School of Mines has just the opposite situation. They have the leading rusher, the leading passer, the leading receiver coming back, and they are picked at the top of the RMAC, coming off an undefeated league record in 2019. At number eight, it's the Lions from A&M Commerce. The 2017 national champions are picked at the top of the Lone Star Conference this season. By the way, Commerce hosts West Florida in a rematch of that 2017 National Championship game, and that's a big non-conference matchup in September. Valdosta State, the Blazers, it was a close vote at the top of the Gulf South preseason poll. Valdosta picked second, very, very close there. Running backs Tompkins and McGill accounted for 24 rushing touchdowns in 2019. And Lenore Ryan, 
quarter finalists in 2019 continuing or looking to continue to build off that momentum and to the top five now at slippery rock national semi-finalist in 2019 roland rivers the third the harlan hill trophy winner in 2019 he's not there anymore and there is competition in camp to try to be the new starter at the rock they are in the number five spot right now in our preseason top 25 ranking at number four it's northwest missouri state the bearcats perennial powers as they always are picked at the top of the miaa preseason poll it's minnesota state the mavericks national runners up in 2019 the mavericks at the top of the northern sun preseason poll at number two ferris state they're at the top of the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference poll, as uh, you might imagine, trying to keep their playoff runs continuing. Running back Marvin Campbell leading the way for them. Could make some more noise carrying the ball this year. And our top team is the defending national champion, and rightfully so. Number one in the preseason ranking here, presented by Emerald Quest, it's West Florida. The Argonauts, led by Austin Reed, who has a freshman threw for more than 4,000 yards, led his team to a national championship and was the national freshman of the year. He's back as a redshirt sophomore, and he has so many other weapons around him. West Florida at the top of our preseason rankings. So there you have it, the top 25 presented by Emerald Quest here on Midwest Sports Net. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments section. And please do consider subscribing to Midwest Sportsnet. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, we would appreciate it if you would like and share and subscribe to the channel here. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless you. Have a great day.